shit. Don't injure me, damn. <laughs> Let me stop playing. All right, hi guys. So today is episode series number whatever five of the behind the scenes for the Cupid Club. Today we're going over my probably favorite or second favorite song, uh, "Leave Your Man at Home." So. Aside from the songs that I had already made for this project, or the songs that I already knew I was going to include, like uh, Power and the Black Magic remix and all that, um, this was probably one of the first ones that I created with the intention of it being on the first thing that I put out. Um, and as soon as I heard this beat, because this is like the one of the ones that I didn't produce, as soon as I heard this beat, I was like, that is my song. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I know I'm going to have it. So it has this very like Prince and 80s vibe, which I absolutely love. And, you know, I remember I didn't know what I was going to write. And then I sat down in my studio and was, you know, putting pen to paper or rather fingers to phone. Because I don't like writing lyrics down. Uh, putting fingers to phone. And I remember I just came up with the, I know you girl. You know, and it just went from there. And as soon as I finished the demo of it, I was like, oh, this is, this is a smash. Like, this is a really good song. I know you girl, so leave your man at home. Know you wanna go, so go put on your clothes. What you waiting for? Just leave your man at home. Leave your man at home. So this song, Like Attention, is somewhat inspired by some people I know. Um, I've never been in the situation to be the one to be told leave your man at home. But I definitely have like at least two female friends that I can think of who Girl, leave him alone. Leave him, leave him at home. Come on out. Enjoy your time with your friends. We're not even on that tonight. So, <laughs> yeah. His name was Stanley and hers was Jill. My friend was looking for something real. A broke bum wasn't part of the deal. Oh, Lord, the people. <laughs> so, um, I definitely... It's funny because they're all sort of inspired by different things. So Jill was like a random name that I just came up with. But Stanley is inspired by the song um, Stanley by Jasmine Sullivan, where she talks about the man that she's in love with, Stanley, who is essentially a bum, you know? He's just, he, he ain't shit, you know? <laughs> so, um, and then Tyrone is referencing Call Tyrone by Erica Badu, which is like one of her signature songs where she talks about her bum ass man that she's with and tells him that he needs to call his cousin Tyrone, you know, or call his friend, whatever, come pick up his shit, you know, and that's that. Somebody needs to call Tyrone, tell this nigga come pick up the phone. I think it's time for him to go, baby, you're clearly unhappy. You know, it's funny, I do wonder why people settle, but I feel like oftentimes people just, I don't know, I think they um, think they deserve that, or they don't think they deserve more. And something that I very specifically have said to myself, especially recently, is I deserve love, I deserve pleasure, you know, I deserve all the good things for me. I, I don't deserve someone who treats me wrong, I don't deserve someone who doesn't want the best for me, I don't deserve someone who doesn't want to grow with me, you know, and you don't deserve that either. So, leave your man at home. <laughs> Ain't been going out lately, and I know you're going crazy. We your friends miss you, baby. Just come out for a little bit, but you keep on saying maybe. When you text me on the daily, we just want to see you happy. Because we know how you feel. You know, it's funny because this part is sort of written like a, a conversation in a sense. Like me talking to a friend and the, the first song that comes to mind and a part of what inspired it is the song Girl by Destiny's Child. Um, I love DC, obviously. But um, I feel like if you have a friend in the situation, sort of the best you can do is try to make them understand, unless they don't want to, but you know, try to help them to understand like you deserve better than this. Like you deserve to you know be living your fullest life with a partner who's also doing the same. Um, but, you know, since you may not want to leave this relationship, at least come out with us. At least come have fun with us. At least come, you know, come kick it with us. Like, something. Like, don't just sit in the house under this bum nigga who is 
doing nothing. <laughs> like, so. I know you, girl, so leave your man at home. No, you wanna go, so go put on your clothes. What you waiting for? Just leave your man at home. Leave your man at home. Ooh, have I dated a bomb? <laughs> uh, ooh, actually. You know, once he is, the last person that I was talking to could potentially be considered a bomb. I mean, he moved to the city with no job and was living with his bum parents. Sorry to put you on blast. Hope you're not watching this. It might be awkward if you are. But we blocked each other, so I doubt you'll see this. But also, I'm going to be everywhere, so we'll see. Either way, my point is... um. <laughs> You know, I, aside from that last, no, actually, nope, there are a few. Yeah, it's about two or three bumps. Two or three bumps. But, you know, I didn't stay with him. I cut it off. Like I said in the last video, cut it off. You need to cut it off. Leave your man at home. How you gonna act like that when you a broke rat? I don't like that. How you try to own somebody when you ain't got a car or your money stacked? Leave my girl alone. Please get out, ho, 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 how you gonna be lazy, man that shit is crazy, she just paid for you last week and your little baby, and you call yourself a man, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, it's funny because I, I, um, wasn't planning originally actually i don't think when i wrote the song i was originally planning on addressing the partner but i don't know in my head i was just like it's time to read the library is open <laughs> like and i definitely think that you know people are in these situations sometimes there are some people who are in these situations where they like can't stick up for themselves and you know there are situations where like your friends come to the rescue for you and they help you to realize that you deserve better um so and being that friend i am a uh, T talking to this partner like you ain't got nothing but the audacity like you know what are you doing you don't have a job you're in her house probably driving her car you know and it's it's understandable you know sometimes your spouse or partner or whatever regardless gender role gender identity may like pay for you or help you here and there but you know for you to just be in her house and she's just paying for you and you got a child and paying for the child too you know, I've seen situations like this, even with people I know. And I'm just like, girl, what you doing? Like, get with the bump. Leave the bump. So. Leave that boy at home. Leave that boy at home. He ain't a man. No, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I love this song. In fact, this song is probably the one that I look forward the most to singing live. Because I know that there are many people who can relate to this. Dating bum people. You know, whether you are a man or a woman or trans or non-binary, there is a chance that you've been with a bum. So, when I sing this live and when I'm with my fans, I want y'all to sing this shit like you're talking to the bum. Leave your man at home. So, yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> love this song. Love this project. 